Hi, I'm Tavleen from WooFunnels and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a lead capture page in WordPress using Elementor. So what is a lead capturing page? Well, also called an opt-in page, quite simply, it allows you to generate leads for your business, which you can nurture and convert into customers. You can create two types of lead capturing page in WordPress. Number one is the one with a pop-up opt-in. So it's a two-step opt-in page wherein when a user clicks on the CTA button, they see a pop-up with a form. They can fill out their details and submit it. So that's two steps. The other one is where the form is embedded on the page itself. The users just pop their details in and press submit. Now to design your lead capture page in WordPress using Elementor, WooFunnels gives you two widgets, the opt-in form widget and the opt-in pop-up widget. Now, with the opt-in form widget, you can adjust the form field width of your form. You can uh, change the colors, the typography, the style of the CTA button and do so much more. With the opt-in pop-up widget, you can add a progress indicator bar on your pop-up. You can stylize the CTA button and even change the animation of the pop-up. The lead capture form too is fully customizable. In the form section, you can rearrange the fields to display them in the order that you want. So email could come before name or vice versa. You can even add new fields to your form and choose from HTML, text box, checkbox and more. Now you have a bunch of templates available at your disposal to design your opt-in pages and make them look the way you want. What's more, you can see the contacts entering your opt-in funnel in real time all inside your WordPress website. So yes, you do not have to leave WordPress to take a look at your contacts. So in this video, I will be using one such opt-in page template by WooFunnels to show you how to design a really good looking opt-in page or a lead capture page in WordPress. Now we'll be doing it for a social media coach who teaches people how to improve their brand presence on the social media and well turn engagement into conversions. So let's get started. Well, so let's design a brand spanking new opt-in page in WordPress using WooFunnels. Now you can install WooFunnels in your WordPress website. Once it's installed and activated, just go into WooFunnels and click on Funnels. Over here, let's click on Add New. You can choose between sales and opt-in or you can create your funnel. So let's create our funnel. Now let's add a new step and we will choose opt-in from the list. You can just call it the opt-in page, create it. We'll add another step, which is the opt-in thank you page. There you go. So you have two steps in your funnel now, which is the opt-in page and the thank you page. We shall click on edit. You'll find a bunch of templates here to choose from. You can choose any of the templates. You can also filter it by inline and pop-up. Pop-up is where, uh, like we explained, that when a user clicks on the button, they will see the form on a pop-up. So we will go with the pop-up and we shall choose the Charmer template. The Charmer pop-up templates, let's import it. It has been imported. Now let's click on edit to begin our editing process. So here's the headline. What if people truly engaged with your brand? Well, look at this. So it really starts off with a question, a thought provoking question. And then you have the sub headline, which follows up with what the headline says. So we go on by saying a thoughtful comments, saves and shares aren't by chance, but by design. Some brands truly know how to drive meaningful conversations and inspire engagement. The CTA button. 
be the brand that gets social. Well, now in the paragraph that follows, we could say, wish you could crack the code of social media. Now, that doesn't mean you post anything random. Hope and pray that it sticks. But it means you post with a clear strategy. From sharing your wins to meaty behind the scenes content. From talking about industry trends that matter to little stories that make you you. Being on social media shouldn't feel like making attempts to do small talks with strangers on the sidelines of networking events. But your brand must sound approachable, friendly and fun. In my masterclass, learn how to nail your brand's tone of voice that sounds natural and not superficial. The number one thing that Achiever brands know about driving conversations on social that struggling brands don't. Well, that's the key differentiator and that would hit the nail on its head. The third bullet goes, the lesser known art of turning conversations into conversions without sounding pushy. Again, this is something that anyone who wants to crack the, the code of social media wants to know about. So these bullets definitely appeal to the desire of a prospective customer. So there you go. Since this is a professionally designed template, you have a section for everything. Put your logo here, uh, you know, your, your headline, subheading, headline, of course, go here. Put the date and time if this is going to be a live event, otherwise you can get rid of it. The testimonial which was floating on that page finds a nice spot here which is right below the call to action button. And of course, you can have an image of the testimonial giver of your client to make this look even more credible. Of course, you have the build up section here for setting the context, some bullets. Then you could have something about yourself, about the host who's organizing this live or pre-recorded event, whatever the case may be. And you are good to go. This page is all yours. All right, so there you go. Once your opt-in page is built, you can also go ahead and edit the thank you page. Once you click on it, you'll see the option to choose a thank you page template. Well, we'll use the Charmer thank you page and then just go and hit edit. It will too load up in Elementor and well, you can make the changes that you want. Now you have a couple of widgets here for the thank you page by WooFunnels for order details and customer details. You can use them and of course build your uh, thank you page. Give your Facebook group a uh, link here so that people can carry the conversation forward. That's it. I hope you really enjoyed watching this video. Leave a comment and let me know your thoughts about this video. And if you have any questions about the whole process, I'm happy to answer. Just leave a comment. I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you can get more informative content like this one all delivered fresh to you.